Okay, a couple of things before we get started today. Um, I have reorganized my boxes a little bit, and I have, like, a ton of Pikachu. And I also reorganized this into a team box, so any potential candidates for a team will be put into the team box. Which, if I didn't mention this already, you can switch boxes, you can change their wallpaper to, like, a whole bunch of different options like this... And you can even change their name. So that's all well and good with all the boxes. And you also may have noticed that I have a lot of Pikachu. That's because at the time of recording this, uh, the event of the Gigantamax Pikachu for Pokemon Day is long gone. So, yeah, that's been going on. And I've decided to grind up a little bit on those farms. Or farm a little bit of those raids. And uh, sure enough, I may have gone too far. I love those rewards so much. <laughs> By the time this video goes up, it will definitely be long gone, the Gigantamax Pikachu event. But just so you know, I am very glad that I did this. <laughs> All right. Hello to everybody and welcome to part 42 of Pokemon Sword. So last time we made it all the way to Winden, the final city in Galar. The biggest city in Galar even. So that means we got some exploring to do. So we won't be checking in with Winden Stadium quite yet. Oh yeah. And also, uh, since PP ups are a thing in those Pikachu raids, uh, I got those. And as for treasure treasures, I'm gonna be a rich boy. <laughs> because look at how many combat shards I have. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> in fact, why didn't I actually No. I, I'm, I'm gonna sell those right now because I, I really, I really, I really just want, I just really want that vindication that I have loads of money. That event went on and I'm gonna utilize this. So I'm gonna sell all of my treasures to get myself very, very rich. Thank you, sir. I have one million Poké Dollars and I'm not ashamed. Anyway, um, with all this money, you, you could potentially buy, like, all the TMs and all the clothes in the world. So, that's cool. That's awesome. But anyway, onward to the big show. We got Winden today to explore. Once again, this is the biggest city in all of Galar. So, you get this dude saying the Champions match, of course. And you even have a Battle Cafe here. So... Let's battle at the Battle Cafe to see what we have here. Uh, uh, sir. Richard. Slurpluff and Alchemy. And I think you have a different form of Alchemy you got there. I probably shouldn't have, uh, uh, taken out Ryza, but whatever. Oh, well. Uh, oh, wait, I have Poison Jab. That's a counter. That's a counter to uh, Alchemy and Fairy types. So that's good. All right, let's do this Powerball. Yeah. You can you can really always count on Powerball to do like the big show things. Got Mata to level 50 and Nani to level 52 where he wants to learn Quiver Dance. That raises the special attack, defense, and speed. Ooh, that's a tough for... Actually, no. Ice. No, that will lower the speed. Oh, my God. This is actually... Icy Wind. Because I really, really want that. I really want... I really want that just so that... Nani could potentially sweep. And there we go. Down goes the Alchemy. And down goes Richard. <laughs> I hope that battle was a complex, bitter experience for you. It sure was. For you. Come on, coffee. Cool. You got a Shalor Sable. Again, basically akin to a full heal. So that's good. That's good. That's awesome. I mean, I've been a fan of Leon ever since he first participated in the gym challenge. Heck yeah. 
I've been a f any anybody can say things like I've been a fan for a long time or I've watched all his matches. That doesn't prove you're a real fan. Oh yes, I believe me. I I've been I've met several people I've watched on the internet in real life at conventions. Remember those? And yeah, <laughs> I met several people in life, so that means I'm a true fan now. <laughs> anyway. You can buy tracksuit jackets or and you can buy motorcycle jackets here at the Winden Boutique. You can buy tracky bottoms. And you can buy studded leather skirts, damaged de denim shorts, leather trousers for all of that money. We have all that money to burn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can we can just and we and we do that. And I believe exclusive to the girls you have dresses. I'm not entirely sure what the boys will have, but it gets rid of your pants. Which, I don't get why that does that, but, you know, whatever. I like the pants. Uh, let's buy... Ooh, creepers. Yeah, we're gonna buy red gas. For the backpacks, you have sports rucksacks and the leather trimmed bag. And a studded leather case. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. You can buy sports caps, knit caps, and yep, sports sunglasses, and that's it. For the glove, you can just buy the one glove. You, there are no shirts here, but you can definitely get yourself a tracksuit jacket. In fact, ooh, motorcycle. Ooh, I'm going to go with this, actually. Yo, okay, all right, all right, all right. And I believe that's it, actually. Yeah, look at me. I'm I'm too cool for this earth. <laughs> of course that won't matter won't matter once we get into the champion cup, but you know, it's something, I suppose. Money gave me your autograph just now. It's my treasure. Heck yeah. <laughs> See, I like this idea that uh I like this idea that each of the trainers has the potential to become famous. It's like you get this sort of you get this sort of presence in the NPCs that wait, I can't remember where I saw them, but I'm debating whether I should go with a hairstyle like a sword or shield. Now nah, that's hairstyle stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh here at the boutique you can do your usual thing. Nothing really has changed except for the fact that there is a boutique here. And up here, you have Extravagant Hotel. The Galler Hurricane, or the London Eye, or whichever one you prefer. Bridges that connect two separate things, so they can be seen as symbols. Uh, Friendship 2. Yes, I believe they can. Here in this elevator, which is actually kind of neat. I can change my job, or even my home, but I can't change my favorite challenger and my favorite Pokemon. Well, who is your favorite challenger, eh? It better be me. Like, it better be me. I hope it's me. <laughs> it better be me because otherwise, you know, you will die. Sir. Unfortunately, unlike the Surchester hotels, unlike Hotel Ionia, uh, you can't actually explore further into the hotel, which is disappointing. But, you know, it has these uh, concierges here that both are twin ladies. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, they're both twin ladies, and that's about it. I was invited by the Macrocosmos to come watch the matches. Ooh, you're getting to the big leagues now. A celebrity can watch any match and is sure to get everybody interested. Yes. Like me. Do you have any idea who I am? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold up. Dude. The, 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 the whole edge just talked. Guys. <laughs> the whole edge just said welcome. Meowth ain't the only one in the entire universe to ever actually talk or use telepathy. Maybe. You, is that, because that's the excuse for like. All legendary Pokemon in the movies. It's just like, you know, they use telepathy. Like, we got it. <laughs> like, how in the heck did Shaman 
know how to use telepathy or whatever. Nobody knows. Black Sludge over here. It gradually restores HP to poison type Pokemon. So it's a hold item for poison types only. Get this lovely, lovely camera angle. Get a nugget over there, which respawns every day. And there's a bit more to do here. In fact, let's go into the houses. Because let, let, let's face it. We, a celebrity, can break into houses anytime we want. Hello, Halucha, who is up there. Halucha, that's a ticket. Maybe we can do a bit sharper ne the next time. D dudes, the, the Halucha is like, it's like gonna gonna break something in the house. Hi. Well, now what's this? I see you have a Rotom phone and a bike. That means you must already know about the Pokemon Rotom. Wait, <laughs> then you then mean that means you must know already how. The, yeah, it can it can go into different motors. If you find out. If you want to find out how a Rotom enters the motors, then try my very best stone Rotom. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was that was very convoluted. But we have Leak Staff. And he's got Mo Rotom. Which is electric grass, I believe. He's got three, so you can probably tell which of these Pokemon uh, he has that are level 34. <laughs> Like, level 34, they should be at, like, level 45 or something. They really should. Next, we got Wash Rotom, which is a part water type. I believe with the forms of Rotom, they keep their type of Ghost, and they just add the secondary typing. Like, I think regular Rotom would be Electric Ghost. Ooh. Oh, I almost misclicked on Flame Charge. <laughs> oh my god. That would have been a disaster. Um, I believe Rotom is... Uh, regular Rotom would be Electric Ghost. And then Wash Rotom would be Water Ghost. Mo Rotom would be... Uh, uh, grass Ghost. And Heat Rotom would be Fire Ghost. But that doesn't matter to me because I have Outrage. <laughs> Even got a crit to boot. I got you. Level 52 for Fluffy. But Rotom changes its type and moves and when it changes its form. <laughs> Dude, you're flexing when you lose. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Defeated every one of my Rotom. You should be able to put this catalog to good use. Rotom catalog. So if you ever find yourself uh, getting a Rotom, you can use the catalog to have Rotom hop in and out of one of the various devices listed within. So this is basically your way, Sword and Shield's way of uh, changing Rotom forms. It, it, it basically changes like every time Rotom is in is in a Pokemon game. Like, originally, it was like an unused room, I believe it is, where you can change Rotom's moves and whatever else happens. But here, it's actually kind of convenient if you're an avid Rotom user. So you have this key item with you that can basically let you change Rotom's form at any anywhere, anytime. I'm searching for Frost Moth. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? No. Listen, man. I love my Frost Frost Moth, but there is absolutely no way I'm giving up Nani. No, sir. Hmm, seems like I've run out of time to reread all my books I got on my shelves. But look, even looking at their spines and reading the titles brings back lovely memories. Believe me, at my at my elementary school library, I always find myself. I always find myself just reading the spines because I was a weird kid. If I make it up to the big stadium screens, big screens during the finals, then the whole world will know my face. Lovely. How many houses? Oh my god, how many houses do we have? Jesus. Okay, only three houses left. Good, good. Because I'm getting tired, tired of this because there's other items like to the right. The truest evolution for Pokemon is, I believe, becoming part of a team of true friends 
as they live together with and grow close to humans. All right. Isn't that right, Peter Griffin? Seriously, does, does, does Greedent look, have the face of Peter Griffin to anybody? Seriously. Champion's been a great boon to trainers. The sport has really taken off thanks to him. Plenty of trainers see his matches and get fired up thinking, I like to be like him. I, yes. It's like a global festival whenever the tournaments or the Champion Cup are on. People in Pokemon come from all over. Oh, believe me. I agree. I agree. I like the fact that this is more... That Pokemon Battles and Galar are more like a big, 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 big event. And also, cheer. <laughs> Just completely ignore that kid. Flying lost through wind and streets. Use the city's dedicated flying taxis or monorail. So yeah, Winden is actually really so big that it has two so far. Yeah, two uh, flying flying taxi spots. The Winden Stadium and the Winden Pokemon Center. So that's cool. Uh, there are no hidden items here, right? Doesn't look like it. Because at this spot, right? Because it's at these spots right here that contain some of the cool items. And also the schemes. Get a grassy seed, which boosts defense on grassy terrain. And here, spawning in every day is a rare candy. So that's two rare candies that you can get once every day. One at Axu's Eye and the other at Winden. And I've also grinded up on rare candies too. <laughs> yeah, that Gigantamax Pikachu event really did me wonders. Uh, bomb mushroom. I already have all the. I already had all the bomb mushrooms in the world. Thank you. Um. Oh, okay. So these are the ultimate moves. So these are the ultimate moves. So only the starters can actually learn these. And yes, I, I evolved in my little Litten into Incineroar. Didn't count because uh, it's part of the Poke... It, is, it isn't part of the Pokedex. I mean, at least not yet. So with this, you can learn Blast Burn, Frenzy Plant, or a Hydro Cannon, depending on your starter. They all basically do the same thing. It's a really strong uh, 150 power move that does a lot of damage and only and only has 90 accuracy. However, you need to recharge next turn. So it's basically the elemental hyper beams that you have here. I'm not gonna go for it personally, but you might. So give it a go. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't I wouldn't recommend using Blast Burn on Cinderace at all because it just has really poor special attack. So that that's really unfortunate, but I would recommend using using uh, Hydro Cannon on Inteleon actually, since Inteleon is a special sweeper. You might as well take advantage of that big old special stat. Oh, and speaking of pictures, you know one thing that I miss from Pokemon X and Y, the fact that at special. Wait a minute! Wait a minute, Marcel. Yo, <laughs> yo, they're bringing back the good old references. Only true fans believe that a, Mar uh, a Mr. Mime named Marcel would be, would be in Galar. It's a Galarian Marcel. But uh, anyway, one thing I missed from Pokemon X and Y from that girl who was talking was the fact that you could take pictures at very important locations, like, you know, or places with nice views. And I would have to say, like, this game has some nice views. Why can't we take pictures? I don't know. And you don't know. We don't know. So we can only go to two places right now with the elevators here. We can go to the Rose of the Rodenlands Hotel, hotels, or we can go to Winden Stadium. But because of the sole fact that you can fly to uh, Winden Stadium already, it's uh, 
That makes it kind of pointless, but yep, it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, can we access the vending machine? Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I actually showed this off anywhere, but here are the vending machines. So you can buy fresh water, which store which restores 50 HP, soda pops for uh, 300 and restores 60, and lemonades, which uh, restore 80. And you can choose to buy one more, which is actually kind of cool. Which is actually kind of cool that they would allow they would finally do the thing, which you buy the things 70. Okay, so it goes 50 for fresh water, 60 for uh, soda pop, and lemonade for 70. So, that's a thing. You can see one of Winden's famous monorail platforms right this way. The monorail goes round and round the city. It's a dizzying delight. I see. I can go into this elevator, make it a completely black screen. Just like my favorite game. Where you don't have to watch the uh, characters just go to all sorts of big uh, locations. You don't have to spend them. You don't have to watch them go through hours and hours and hours of. Uh, wait a minute. There must be one ninja somewhere around here. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude. This Growlithe. Yes. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, just like my favorite game of all time, where they, they don't allow you to see, you know, all the characters just walking from all the way from, like, the foot of the Titan to, like, the head of the Titan, you know, it's just like my favorite video game where you don't have to see it. I kind of wish you would see it, just, like... You, you have this really cool, like, monorail system. You have this, like, elevator going in. And then you ride the train. And then you get to see, like, the all the beautiful sights. Like this. Like, I like I like going this way because of the really good camera angle. It's so good. It's really cool. That That's really all there is to it. It's just... It, it's, it's really cool. So, you got the shops. The convention shops. Remember those, and the challengers are just too amazing. Any mistake they make can send them tens, can be seen by tens of thousands of fans. But the challengers just keep on battling as if it were nothing. They must have nerves of steel. Oh, believe me, I'm scared. I'm scared out of my butthole. We're gonna stay out of trouble this time. I mean, we want to watch the matches too. We'll show you the full power, of Team Yell. Oh, good. Do it then <laughs> do it and finally you have your Winden Stadium Pokemon Center I'm planning to have that old man in Sir Chester teach me the move Draco Meteor ooh there's an NPC that I missed loads of Pokemon come to the come for the finals so they make a big fuss about security and I've been really hoping to get a day I'm go get off duty and see the match for myself Sorry, buddy. Don't know what to tell you. Here at the Winden Stadium Pokemon Center, you can buy really good TMs here. You can buy Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Drain Punch, Solar Blade, which is basically a physical solar beam, Hyper Beam, you know, the standard Hyper Beam, Giga Impact, the physical Hyper Beam, Power Swap, which switches special attack and special attack stats with the target, Guard swap, same thing, but defense. And speed swap. Switches speed with the target. Oh, God. That's a that's a good way for me to hold in my burps. But anyway, I have a lot of money. I'm going to buy these. I have so much money from the raids. I'm very willing to just buy up all of these TMs. Might not be like a, the best idea in the long run but there it is i completely i completely sold out this tm shop at this point in time so that's awesome anyway i'm just here to restock some of the items that i used because i used a lot of ultra balls and raids 
to catch all those Pikachu. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so I might as well show you this one last thing before we end things. So, for the longest time, traded Pokemon couldn't be re renamed. Well, Pokemon Swoosh does away with that. Yes! Thing I can't read! That's a truly impeccable nickname. I can't say anything bad about it. Take a care of the thing. Oh. Or maybe it's not like it's international. Uh, let me see Baby Boy. Really? I could have sworn that... Hold up. Let me, let me actually do the... Uh, here. No? Where I I could have I could I could have sworn. I could have really sworn that the, the, this this is actually a thing that I could have sworn this is actually a thing that you can do. Is that just going crazy or something? <laughs> I, I I swear you I, I swear you can do <laughs> Oh my god. What about in-game traits? No. Jesus <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, I, I swear, I swear you could do this. Hold on. Let me look up my information. Uh, okay, okay. I think, I think, I think we have it. I think we have it. So, this Gigalith was, uh, originally somebody else's. But we could change, but we can change the name. Uh, YMCA. I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So, you can change the other trainer's uh, Pokemon's name if you get it from, like, a Wonder Trade or any given trade, really. But only if they have their original name. Like, if they didn't, tra if they traded it without nicknaming it. And you only have one go at it. So, it'll be YMCA now and forever. So, there it is. So, previously, in previous games, you couldn't do that. You couldn't rename a traded Pokemon, but now you can. And let me actually check the lotto because we've gotten a lot of Pokemon from Wonder Trades. All right, let's see. Ah, mother. <laughs> ah, you suck. Okay, folks. And at last, we have made it. Winden Stadium is our ultimate destination on this journey. This journey of barely anything happening, but trust me, this journey ain't ending anytime soon. <laughs> Believe me, we still have a lot to go, but... As for the main quest, this is it. Next time on Pokemon Sword, we go inside. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.